YouTube chat here. You can see behind me I've got the trailer and the truck hooked up. It's time to get the zero turn in. We're gonna go mow the cemetery. We try not to let it go too long, but once it gets to be the fall to save the cemetery some money, we don't mow it as often. It's been just over two weeks, about two and a half weeks, and it is currently uh, almost the middle of August. While we're here, just a little bit of information about the trailer some people have asked. This is an enclosed trailer. It's the Carmate Sportster trailer. Carmate is a manufacturer not far from us at all, just down the road. You can see it's a single Dexter Easy Lube axle. One of the things I really like about Carmate, in addition to being local, is it's got a lifetime floor and a lifetime roof. This is a 6x12. I think I mentioned in another video it didn't have the tie down points in it, so I bought those on eBay. I took it back to Carmate and they installed those for me so I didn't do anything with the floor warranty. It does have a nice light in it. If the lights in the truck are on, then this light works also. It's got the V nose. You can see we use that. There's actually two spare tires, some moving blankets, a bunch of ratchet straps. I like the LED lights. It's got a heavy duty gate ramp. I added the E track, works great for hauling furniture or signs or anything you need to attach to the sidewalls. So that's just a quick overview of the CarMate 6x12 trailer. No complaints about it. how high the grass is it's not too bad here in the front section at the top of the hill but as you get down there where it gets more Sun it's just got so many of those So I did a video on mowing the high grass at home along the driveway. That wasn't the same as this high grass, so this will be a good test of the Toro Time Cutter just mowing high grass. That was trimming it back first and then mowing over top of it. I kind of cut it in half and then cut it again. So 
this will be just mowing and we'll see what the results are. done time cutter did a good job some of those I see one sticking up here actually I actually had to go over a couple times this is, the, this is the first time I've had to do that with this mower but you see these some of these just didn't get cut when I was mowing as I saw them across the cemetery in different areas I just hit that section again to get those tall ones that didn't get cut the first time. Got the front half in, the back half done. A little bit of trimming to do. A while back I talked about when I trailer the time cutter I backed it in. I've actually lately been pulling it in. I think it's actually easier. It's easier for me to pull the zero turn into the trailer than to back it in. When you back it in you get a lot of tire slipping. You can see several times I was spinning the tires there because the weight's pulling uphill and it just doesn't do as good that way. When you drive in, the weight's in the back and there's literally no tire slipping. Backing out, the only thing you have to worry about is those front wheels swivel when you first start backing up. So let them do their swivel before you start going very fast. Sometimes I even inch it side to side a little bit to get them to swivel a little quicker. And then just backing out uh, my biggest watch point is the two edges on the side of the deck and then this one cable that holds the ramp gate. And I'm, I've been using the large rubber bands to hold that chute up just when I pull in and out and then I take the rubber bands off and put them in here. I started out with four of them and now I'm down to two and they break pretty easily. If anybody has great ideas, please comment below how you can hold that up temporarily while you trailer, pull in and out of the trailer, then still easily put it down without modifying that chute. I'd appreciate it. We're currently at 11 hours on the Toro time cutter. And like I said, it's been doing a great job. We're very happy with it. So that's another example of the great job that that Toro time cutter does. Again, this isn't perfect grass and we let it go a little bit extra this time to reduce the number of mowings here at the cemetery. But it did a really nice job. We're happy with it. Uh, if you like videos like this, click that subscribe button, like and share, and then comment below. Thank you.